Alright guys, this is my updated review for Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. So let's go on over to settings. Let's go down to about phone. And as you see, this is the 1228-2012 CM 10.1 nightly for the Maguro, which is a GSM Galaxy Nexus. So if we go back, you see I'm using the Trebuchet Launcher because it's had a lot of updates and it's actually pretty much like an ADW Apex or Nova launcher now. So as you see we can fully customize our dock where we can move the app drawer icon. So it's not just stuck in the center like most you know trebuchet launchers are on the past EM10 builds which is pretty nice. When you long press you get the more Android 2.3 kind of action launcher. So you see we have apps, shortcuts, widgets, actions, and wallpapers. So if we go in actions, they don't have much besides that we can just add the app icon, which of course goes into our apps. And of course on Android 4.2 you can just flick your app away. But let's go on over to the apps. This comes with the usual CM 10.1 apps, which are the Apollo Music Player, the Super User instead of Super SU. So I'm not really going to go too much into apps. But if we go on over to the widgets, you see we still have the apps which is the icon down there in the bottom right which I thought I should point out because it was kinda cool but that's pretty much it for the trebuchet unless we go into settings and then we go into launcher and this is where we can customize trebuchet so if we go to home screen we now have more options where we can still customize our grid size the number of home screens we can stretch them we can have the search bar we can still resize any widgets but now we have the transition effect. As you see, I have it on tablet because I like the tablet transition effect. That's what I always use on Apex and Nova and ADW. But you still have all of these other transition effects that are that are present in ADW and Apex. So you don't have to buy a launcher from the Play Store. You can just use the Trebuchet launcher, which is pretty nice. And of course, you have some wallpaper hacks. And then you have the indicator at the bottom. Or you can even put the indicator at the top, too. And now if we go into the app drawer, instead of just scrolling horizontally from side to side, you can now scroll up and down, which is pretty nice. So if we go to cancel, you can manage your hidden apps, and you can also choose a transition effect now. So you see I have it on accordion, which the apps kind of smush together on the side as you scroll over. I kind of like that. And if we go back, we have general which we can go full screen mode by hiding the status bar and we can still auto rotate and we can we can have multiple pages in the dock which is nice so instead of just having one dock page at the bottom you can have say your twitter google plus facebook in the app neck and i mean in the dock next to it so i can't talk and so you don't have to have any apps on your home screen you just swipe over the dock and well your apps are right there so that is a pretty neat feature and if we go back now we still had the custom lock screen options so if we go under screen security we still had the custom you know where we can still have the face unlock actually yeah face unlock is still there I didn't see it at the first glance but I like that we can delay the lock so instead of it locking right away you can have it lock after say five, minu five minutes that you push the lock button and of course you can still mess with your slider shortcuts now even though you you have the new lock screen on 4.2 you can still add the custom shortcuts so as you see I have Twitter right there but you can still unlock by going anywhere that you don't have a shortcut which is pretty nice and you still have access to your camera and your widgets of course you do have the theme manager I was running the holidays theme for this on the longest time for the holidays so you can still choose all of your custom themes that you have installed and of course you have your system so if we go into status bar, you can still mess with your clock, your brightness control, stuff like that. And actually, since I got rid of the theme, it took away my circle circle battery. If you don't know what the CM circle circle battery is, that was a terrible focus. I'm sorry. It's not focusing. All right. Well, maybe you guys can see it out here. My camera is not wanting to focus, sorry about that. But you see it's just a circle battery with the percentage. I think it looks pretty nice. One thing I like about Cyanogen Mod is that instead of just having the quick settings, you also have the notification drawer. 
So if I slide down from the left, I still have my custom toggles with Wi-Fi, data, GPS, sound, rotation, and a torch. But if I don't want to use these and I just want to use the quick settings, I can still add and customize my toggles over here as well. Which is pretty nice that you have both of those options. So if we go under quick settings panel, panel, I'm sorry, it's 1 a.m. and I cannot talk. Um, you have the quick pull down where you can pull down from the right side, which is pretty nice. Auto close it, tiles, and these are just some of the like alarm clock that shows up at the bottom and stuff like that. And then you still have your notification drawer where you can change those and reorder and stuff like that. So you still have your power menu where you long press on the power button, of course. And then you still have your notification light settings where you can customize it. Kind of like AOKP a little bit. One thing to note is that I tried to mess with the vibrator feedback to kind of turn it down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear that through there, but if I turn it all the way up to 100, it's still the same. So that's not working right now, but I'm pretty sure they'll get it fixed. And I went in here and I changed the color values to the CM settings because I think they look nice. Go back. And if you scroll down, you still have your custom size and mod profiles. You still have your developer options. So if you go in here, you have your launch tools. I'm not really noticing anything different besides those launch tools. But I haven't seen those launch tools in any other developer options besides CM. So. You still can't overclock it, but you can still change your kernel and stuff like that. But you see, I have it on interactive because I like that kernel. It kind of has the best of performance and also, you know, like where it saves your battery a little bit. Under display is where you can enable the full 360 degrees rotation, where you have your volume rocker wake as well. And then my favorite feature, you have the expanded volumes where instead of just having to press like settings and it expands it's automatically expanded and what I mean by that is see the expandable you have to press settings to expand them you guys may like that to keep it simple but I think that the expanded is easier to use so if, if you want to adjust your music volume and your call volume at the same time you can do it from right there and then you have a dock I kind of thought this was a neat feature since I didn't see it in any other ROM. You can play the dock and search sound. Now, I don't really know anybody who has a dock, but if you do, it's there. But that was my kind of quick look at Cyanogen Mod on the Galaxy Nexus. Still have all your same Cyanogen Mod wallpapers. The camera, I like how they. Uh, actually, I'll just show you guys. I like how they use the power button as the camera toggle so if we go into settings nope have they not implemented that yet alright well I guess I don't like how you can use the power key as a camera button but that was in size mod 10 I hope that they implement that soon in the 10.1 cause I, I love that feature where when you're holding your phone like this you can use your power key and just take pictures I mean, that's, that's useful so you don't have to keep on clicking and holding. It's like you can hold the phone and see the whole screen, the whole picture, I mean. It's little things in life, I'm sorry. And you still have your quick message. So if I go in here and I go to settings, go down to the bottom, you have emoji support, which is always nice. And you have your quick pop-up, where if you get a message, like a little box will pop up on the screen. Kind of like how iOS had it a few I think last year or something like that. You can use a dark theme or the kind of light theme that it has going through this whole ROM. So, not really sure what else to talk about. You can't customize the navigation bar yet on this ROM, but that's going to be coming soon. That is available on the Nexus 4 though, which is pretty nice. But if you want to see, oops, if you want to see any other features of this ROM, just let me know. I'll be sure to cover in an upcoming video. But if you want to see any more ROMs, let me know in the comments below, and I will be doing more ROM reviews. I'm looking at doing a video on Kill ROM next, so if you want to see that, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.